Hey y'all, it's Courtney. I'm back. I haven't made a video in a little bit. Um, I've been going through a lot per usual, but I got a new car and I was going to do like a car tour, but things happen and I didn't. So right now, but right now I'm going to do that and I'm about to go get my car washed so yeah it's 70 degrees today and it is january so that's pretty weird we never really had a winter and it's the beginning of the year so yeah i figured i will post a video it's sunday i'm not doing anything and look at the sky from my sunroof so pretty today um but yeah so I'm going to go clean my car. youtuber like literally it is several days later um and i'm filming this outro because i didn't want to like leave y'all hanging and i know this uh video is probably boring but at the end of the day this is my mother life like if you don't like it don't watch simple but anyways, yeah, I'm on my way to pick up my medication, so I'll be fucking depressed and shit, because I've been depressed, y'all. Like, I've been hella depressed, like, for real. 
like I don't even remember what day it was I think it was Thursday um, I accidentally did take my medication and literally by the end of the day like I was like getting sad because I felt like I was alone <laughs> in life I mean granted I am single but I'm not alone in life like I have a good family and I have you know I have a few good friends and a lot of good like party people and associates that you know I can chill with so I mean I'm not alone I just it's just with depression like sometimes you can literally have everything you need in life and still be like depressed and sad and unhappy and yeah, and I'm that type of person, and that's why I take medication for it, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna go pick up my medication, and then I'm about to go get me and my grandma some salads. Bro, like, I'm still sick. Like, I'm still sick. Like, I just know, like, one day, <coughs> oh, y'all, y'all don't know this, like, because this is, been... oh, yeah, because, okay. I got the flu, bruh. Like, I got the flu. And, um, it really, like, I don't think I've, I don't remember having the flu ever. And the flu really is really, like, some serious stuff. Like, I was so sick. Like, I have not been that sick. And I don't remember when I've been that sick. Like, I'm talking, like, your nose is running. Your, your throat is sore. You're coughing, constantly coughing up stuff and then on top of that you have fever your body aches your body chills you're cold but you're hot because you're like sweating and then on top of that you've got diarrhea and you're throwing up like it's horrible y'all and like I feel like I'm still congested number one and then besides that like my stomach just don't doesn't feel right like last night i went out with some friends and we got some drinks and stuff and like low-key like i took a shot and went to the bathroom and low-key threw up that's not normal for me because like i can take shots especially tequila that's my favorite drink like i can take shots like it's nothing like i can sit there and just take shots take shots but like i was already <coughs> feeling sick before I went out and like honestly I wasn't even gonna go out but I was just so like depressed feeling like I was just like let me go out with my friends because I know like if I hang out with some good friends you know I'll be you know it'll be fun and I'll get out of my mindset and then um we ended up going to this bar and all of a sudden my cousin's there like my fucking favorite cousin so Bro, like it was a popping off night. Like it was actually really fun, even though I ended up kind of like feeling a little sick at the beginning. But you know, once the alcohol the alcohol starts getting in your body, you know, you feel it good though. I started feeling myself. Anyways, this was supposed to be an outro, but I figured, you know, I might as well just chat with y'all since it's been a minute of me making a video and this video is kind of short. So I was like, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna chat and it's weird actually that I'm filming right now because I usually don't film at all hardly and I definitely don't film if I feel like sick or I feel bad and I look bad right now but I always be looking bad so y'all are used to that so I don't give a fuck. I still love the way that I look no matter how I look. Like I feel like to me personally like I'm my type, you know, like, I'm my actual type, like, I fucks with myself, I fucks with myself, you know, I like the way I look, I don't care if I have makeup, I don't care if my hair is done, like, I still think that I'm, I'm that bitch, you know, and I think everybody needs to think like that, because if you don't, then you're probably gonna be feeling like shit about yourself all the time, because... You know, like they say, we are our worst critics. We are our own worst critics, so. But, yeah. Like, I'm just, I don't know. Like, I just feel like as I get older, I get more, like, confident. And it's, like, confidence to almost, like, it's a little cocky. Like, a little cocky. Because it's almost to the point where... Is it, there's a good side of it because it's, like, okay. Like, somebody can literally 
talk shit about me and like I'm just be like well you must be blind or something there's something wrong with you like if you really think something's wrong with me you know like but then on top of that it's to the point where it's a little cocky because like it's just like you really need to calm down bitch because you ain't all that but I think I am like I really do like and sometimes I'll be thinking it like like too much like i be feeling myself too much and i'll be like oh you know what i need to calm the fuck down so i'm over here at this um pharmacy trying to get my damn medicine so i don't fucking go crazy and be depressed on people y'all like i think like i think yeah because i haven't been taking my medicine but i think also another reason why my depression has been coming out is because like recently like I had a falling out with one of my, like, best friends, like, that I've been knowing, like, the longest. Like, we literally have been knowing each other for, like, 13 years. And, like, honestly, she just, like, I don't even want to speak on what happened, but she just did something that just fucking rubbed me the wrong way. And I feel like really any other time I probably would let it slide but I think like it's just been so many things with her that has just added up to the point where I'm just like you know what fuck you bitch like I'm just tired of your shit like I love like there's a part of me like I always love her because I really did love her as a friend but it just sometimes you just don't need people in your life and I think for a long time I excused a lot of the shit that she was doing and I would just kind of turn a blind eye because, you know, I'm just like, well, we've been friends for 13 years. Like, we've been cool. Like, she's my day one bitch, you know. And and I just excuse her shit. And just this one time, this recent, here recently, I was just like, you know what? Fuck this bitch. Like, I'm tired of your shit. And I'm tired of you. Like, I don't need you in my life. Like, I hate to say this, but you're not benefiting me at all. If anything, you're dragging me down with you. Like, so, I mean, yeah, that does put me in a kind of a depressing state. And then, like, on top of that, like, I just, I've been single for so damn long. And I know, like, I'm, like, really rolling my eyes right now. Because I'm just, like, I hate talking about this shit. Because, like, I'm good being single. But here lately, I don't know what it is. I've just been thinking about, like damn I'm single and I've been single for a while and it ain't like I'm like not talking to people like I actually do talk to people and you know <sighs> I don't know and and like and a lot of times like like I'll be thinking something's wrong with me like maybe I'm just meant to be alone or nobody's really gonna like be for me because I don't know and then I see everybody, like, especially, like, I'll watch videos and shit of, like, couples. And I'll just be, like, I really miss, like, being, like, with someone. Like, watching movies with them, getting food, and just being lazy and chilling, cuddling. I don't know. I just kind of miss that. I know at the end of the day, I'm better off by myself. Because every time I get into a relationship, like, I go back. Like, I backslide in life. Like, and every time when I'm single, like, I, pro I progress in life. And I know that when I find my person, it'll be someone who helps me progress. Like, like, I know, like, from experience, like, with dating all these people and, like, my life has gone downhill. Like, I know that when I meet that person that I'm supposed to be with, like... I know that that person, I'm going to know the difference between them and others that I've been with because I know that person's going to actually, like, make me better. So. Like, I wish I could have some, I wish I could hire somebody to go grocery shopping for me. Like, I'll give you the money, just go get the food for me. You know?
I want Botox. Like, with my face just like this, it's fine. But when I put on makeup, bro, you can see those lines so bad. And I don't like the way that looks. It looks ugly to me. I want to get it fixed. Bro, it's low-key kind of cold. But I want to keep my sunroof open. Because, like, the sun's out. But yeah, that's just what's been going on with me. I've been a little bit down. But I know at the end of the day, like, I'm going to come up from this. I always come up from everything. Like, I literally almost died, totaled my car. And if it literally wouldn't have been for me, like, having to go through recovery and all this shit, and, like, actually, like, scared to drive, like... I probably would have got a car a lot sooner and got my shit together a lot sooner. But, I mean, it takes time. And I'm not, like, a fucking superhero. Right. So, like, my prescription wasn't ready. That sucks. But I'm about to go get this food. <sighs> sucks. It don't fucking matter. I'm not going to get upset about it. I should have waited till they texted me anyways. Bro, I do not feel good, like, at all. Like, I am still sick as shit. Like, I don't understand this flu shit. Like, I thought it was only supposed to last a week. Like, it's going on two weeks now, bro. Like, I'm not fucking with it, for real. Like, I do not like being sick. Like, I've got to be strong. Physically and mentally, or I can't get through shit. Like, if I have any little bit of a inconvenience like I fall apart I'm just kidding that fucking week